Hello, this is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. And if you're an OG, welcome back. Happy Thursday, guys. It is almost the weekend. We have almost made it. And I am ecstatic about that. Believe me. All right. Well, this is a new episode of Dragon Age Origins. And if you guys have been keeping up um the last episode we had our initiation ceremony and we did lose sir davith and sir jory and if you guys are uh star trek fans or trekkies you know that the red shirts always die first right so we were commenced or <laughs> given the task of meeting with the king um but while we were away or off camera i did clear out my bags because they were full and there was just no way I was going to continue with full bags because I like the loot and I get like OCD about it slightly because you know but yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started and meet the king as uh, summoned Logan, my decision is final I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault you risk too much Kaelin Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. That's the case. <clears throat> Perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your full notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a full notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, Your Majesty. And this is the lady from High Ever I met earlier. I understand congratulations are in order. Um, thank you, Your Majesty. I didn't have a choice, really. I don't feel that special. I really don't feel that special, but uh, thank you, Your Majesty. Every Grey Wall is needed now. You should be honored to join their ranks. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kaelin. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from To cover. flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. All right, I will do my best, Your Majesty. You mean I won't be fighting the battle? You mean you won't be? I, yeah, let's just go with that one because, yeah. We need the beacon. Without it, Loghain's men won't know when to charge. You see? Glory for everyone. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Loghain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Arch Demon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we will of not Major. trust any lives to your spells, mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough. This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Loghain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Kaelin. A glorious moment for us all. You heard the plan. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Terran Loghain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? Um, where is this Tower of Ishal exactly? I agree with Alistair. We should be in the battle. Stop your whining. We have an important job. Okay. Uh, where is this Tower of Ishal exactly? I totally skipped over that first option, but yeah. The tower is on the other side of the gorge from the king's camp, the way we came when we arrived. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. 
Uh, just a quick side note, if you guys hear a humming noise, that is my fan going, my ceiling fan, because it's a little warm in here with all the computers, so just so, just so you know. All right, um, sounds easy enough. When do we light the beacon? When do we light the beacon? And where will you, let's go with uh, when we will. We will signal you when yeah. the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. Okay, can we join the battle afterwards? What if the Archdemon appears? How much time do we have? Um, how much time do we have? The battle is about to begin. Once I leave, move quickly. You'll have less than an hour. Um, can we join the battle afterwards? Stay with the Terran's men and guard the tower. If you are needed, we will send word. Okay, um... What if the archdemon appears? We soil our drawers, that's what. <laughs> if it does, leave it to us. I want no heroics from either of you. Uh, I know it. We. Oh, are we in any. In, 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 <laughs> are we in any danger? <laughs> of course. Even the best laid plans go awry. So do what you must. I trust you both. Just not enough to actually fight with the rest of you. <laughs> there will be plenty of battles, Alistair. Be patient. Alistair is raring to go. I know what ha uh, Goodness, my tongue is not working today. I know what I have to do. Then I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan, may the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all. All right, Alistair is officially in our party. I am going to take a quick break for a second. I need to turn this fan off because I'm all of a sudden cold. That's what happens when you're anemic. So I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Um, all right, so Alistair's in our party, and I guess I should explain something um, for some of the people that aren't used to watching RPGs. Uh, you'll see that certain interactions, certain answers to questions, um, certain ways, depending on how you handle a quest or what have you, you'll get an approval rating and uh, that will affect your relationship with people in your party, um, what have you. And so our current approval rating with our, our mutt, I shouldn't call him mutt, he's not a mutt, he's a Mabari hound, um, is at 100%. He is our friend. He's been with us since, I don't know, but he's loyal to us. So we've got 100% loyalty with him. And Alistair right now is at neutral. Now this, again, affects, can go, the effect can go up and down depending on how you answer or react, interact with them and people around you, what have you. Um, so there are possible romance options as well but uh before we begin i really need to level uh, alistair up he is our tank i'm going to give him constitution and strength right now and i think he does have a talent point to use all right so he predominantly uses weapons and shields so and he is a templar so he has some templar abilities i am going to give him threat since he is a, uh, our tank. All right. And we're going to head over to, I don't think there's anything that we can search for. Um, infirmary. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, um, the chest. Okay. So we got health poultice, poultice, leather, leather. Goodness, I can read, guys. I swear I can. Lesser injury kit, uh, lesser spirit bomb, all that jazz. Okay, now I will say I did empty out my um, my bags, and I also bought a few things. So I did get some lesser injury kits, or I did get an injury kit or whatever, and I sold whatever, most of everything in my bag. I did keep a few things just in case, but um, yeah, for the most part, we are ready to go. Um, I'm excited. I don't know about y'all. I think this is the way. I don't remember. Yep. Could see.
The plan will work, Your Majesty. Of course it will. The blight ends here. Winter is coming. Let's cross the bridge and get to the Tower of Ishal. Ooh, that is so epic. I don't care what anybody says. That scene is so epic and it's so, the fear is so visceral. All right, let's go. Everybody's dying. Oh my gosh. Okay. Make it help us. They're everywhere. You, you're Grey Wardens, aren't you? The tower, it's been taken. What are you talking about, man? Taken how? The Darkspawn came up through the lower chambers. They're everywhere. Most of our men are dead. Then we have to get to the beacon and light it ourselves. I love how our makeup is still perfect. Anyways, all right. So we've got a mage in our party now. I think I got a couple things for him, actually. What's his name? Just mage? His name is just mage. Yep. Circle mage. Red shirt. All right. So, um, okay. I do have a couple things. Let's go ahead and give him this helm. See how terrible the helm looks, guys. It looks like a fez. All right. Uh, oh, wait. I've got a couple things for Alistair, too. Let's give him this. Actually, I think that's it. Because I already gave him this sword. And he just, okay. So, the circle mage will go back. And I think... I think the staff, oops, yeah, it goes here. All right, and that might be it. I don't think I have anything else. Actually, let me grab um, a poultice for him, just in case. I really hate using poultices on um People aren't, aren't going to be in our party very long, but he is pertinent. Pertinent? He's pertinent? Yeah. And I don't think I can give him any additional... Oh, I can. Okay, so I'm going to give him... Set him up to take his potions as needed, as well as mana. So we'll say your health is less than 50%. We're going to use... Uh, I'll use least powerful... And then self mana to say less than 50% use least powerful. Okay. 
All right, we don't have a lot of poultices, but we have what we have. Let me just quickly run around and see if there's anything to loot. I don't think so, sorry. So the tower's been taken and we need to rush in. Oh, there's stuff. Oh, dang. Yeah, had no chance. quick uh, looting alright oh there's a lot lots of loot lots of loot alright I'll get on it sweet go around here what do we have Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, that's junk. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Junk and junk. I think some of these things I actually need, but I don't know. All right. Let's head in. Um, I actually gave myself a bow. Sometimes I will switch uh, to different party members, and I know like if you're in range, or if your character's in range, she may or may not switch to bow. It depends on how you have your tactics set up. I don't normally fool around with tactics too much, um, just because I kind of suck at setting that up, but I do. Okay, so this guy has no chance. Okay, he's running off, and... Oh. oh my gosh. was close. All right, normally, I will say I normally use hotkeys, but um, I haven't used them because I found that the hotkeys that I have set up are the same ones that I use in OBS Go to ahead. stop recording and start recording. And I noticed like my last um, episode, I was like missing like so much from all the, uh, so much um, footage. I was like, I've got to stop hitting F1 and F2. Uh, yeah, so I, you'll see me use my mouse a little bit more. So just for those people in the back that think I'm a noob, um, I just can't. I have to reset up my hotkeys for um, for no, uh, later. OBS, but I'm not doing that right now. I would do it later. I don't know why I just had a bad English accent, but... <laughs> All right, let's go in the tower. Let's see what's going on in here. I feel like I'm like yelling into the microphone. This is spooky. Like completely spooky. All right. Um Don't. 
Don't die, Alistair. Okay, we've got to kill the mage. Oh my gosh. Sorry I'm sniffing so much, but allergies. I hate allergies. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. The dog died. Augie died. And so I think I may need... He's injured. He has a crack skull. Okay, I'm going to have to give him some a doggy bone. I think these are Barbari Crunch restores a small amount of health and stamina. Okay, so oh, does this cure? Yeah. Okay. All right. So this chest and some ice arrows, and I didn't think we got anything good from their bodies. I'm pretty sure we didn't. All right. So let's head into this room. I we can choose either door because we'll go here. Oh my gosh, you guys, we right, have right. we have run through these health poultices like big time. That is not good. We just got here. Okay. Okay, that was quick. Let's see if we can get in here. An injury cat? No. We need all potions. Right, right. Yes, thank you. One. Please let there be plenty in here. Nope. Junk. And junk. Anything else? Nope. All right. And there was. I don't think there was anything in here because yeah, this is the other door. Um, let me save really quick. Oh, the uh, Augie leveled up. All right, so we're going to give him more health, strength. Um, do we need dex for him? Yeah, let's give him some dexterity. And that was it. Okay, so. Let's bring you guys out. There's so many. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. And there's a the guy standing up on the. All right. <clears throat> really? Jeez. All right. I'll get on it. 
I'm gonna have to increase the difficulty. What are these darkspawn doing ahead of the rest of the horde? There wasn't supposed to be any resistance here. Um, weren't you complaining that you wouldn't get to fight? There is no point in moaning about it. We have fighting to do. Uh, you could try telling them they're in the wrong place. You could try telling them they're in the wrong place. Uh, yeah. Right, because clearly this is all just a misunderstanding. We'll laugh about this later. At any rate, we need to hurry. We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Tyron Loghain will be waiting for the signal. All right. He likes it when you're snarky. Okay. So there's a couple things here to loot, or just the one. And it's Elfrude. There's nothing else. Oh, yeah. This chest over here. More arrows. Um, that's it. Okay. I think there's either this door and the... Okay, we'll go this way. That'll teach you more poultices. The game must know. All right. So there are these ballistas over here that we can use. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Why not? What is this? Okay. A book. And book. All right. See if we can Twisted use these. Creatures. No, they're not working. I'll get on it. They're not working. Shoot. She's so snarky. All right. All right, all right. Actually, what I need to do is check on this mage because I think the mage has healing spells or not. Well, he could certainly be enchanting us. Um, Can he? Not yet. I don't have enough. Darn it. Um... Let's do this. And flaming weapons and Okay, that's it. Oh, he can make. Well, shoot. Oh, just one. He can make Mabari crunch though. We do definitely need those. I don't want to waste, well, whatever. Okay. All right. I think that's it. Oh, I do have something to loot here. These guys are disgusting. Yes. Sweet. Okay. We're on the way. Can you imagine? Who's coming in this creepy castle? I don't need arrows. I need 
I need potions, pots, mana pots. Ooh. Both game better be ready to charge as soon as we light the signal. The king is depending on us. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? All right, some boots. I don't think we need those, but we're going to take them. Oh, shoot. Got it. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Anything good? Anything good? Fire arrows, of course. More arrows. So many arrows. I'll be I'm complaining now, but later I will need those arrows. Let's see. Yeah. All right. Can we save it really quick? Nope. That lever over there. The Release the hounds. A bit more dying, please. Run them. Let's have a Thank you for the help. Oh, there were some dead ones. Oh, look. I'm gonna loot them now. Got it. I feel bad, but you have a health focus. Oh, war paint. I'm definitely putting that on. All right, the war paint is for the Mabari hounds, and it gives them extra stats. And I think it's under armor. Yeah, this one is damage, uh, plus four damage versus beasts. I mean, it's not going to really help against these guys, but it is something. So, anything else? I'm going to need you guys' help. So, uh, follow me, please. Or at least come back this way. There we go. I think that was it. Yeah. Okay. Good. Let's loot. Got it. Is there anything in here? Lots of stuff. Music in this game is so, so, right now it's so creepy, but it's so beautiful. Um. Silver ring and an injury kit. Well, we definitely need the in Oh, Alistair leveled up. All right, let me just loot here first, and then we'll, uh, we'll uh, work on his stats.
Now's better than later. I've got to be mindful of my post my potions. Oh, wait, what am I doing? All right, level him up. Um, constitution, definitely, because he needs it. And we could open up his combat tactics. Let's do that, because I'll need to work on those. And then I want to give him... What do I want to give him? Shield defense, yes. Okay. Alrighty. Let us go. Will they come in the next room? Awesome, I leveled up. Okay. I'll get on it. What's my inventory looking like? Okay, we're okay. Let's see. I need a little more constitution, some dex. Probably should add some strength in there for weapons. Um, do I want coercion? Yeah, I kind of want to. Ooh, but I want. I want to work on my coercion. Okay. And lock picking I can't get yet. So is there any below the belt? Or let's go with below the belt. We can use that. Bring that over here. Alright. And I know you guys are going to follow me up the stairs. Okay, I'm going to do a quick save, just in case. I'm losing some frame rate. Oh. Ah, oh, so gross. That's so gross. Okay. Meow. A lot of kiting. Oh no. Alistair. No. Oh shoot. Great. Alistair's dead. And I don't have any way of rezzing him. This is it. I'm just gonna be kiting him around. Uh. That was just a little too easy. The beacon is over here. We surely missed the signal. Let's light it quickly before it's too late. But first, looting. That's that's important. And we need to loot this guy's body because you know he's got some good stuff on him. Oh yeah. All of the things. Every last one of the things. Okay, that should be it. So let's light the beacon. Sound the retreat. But what about the king? Should we not do as I command? Pull out, all of you. Let's move.
Duncan. Your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. Oh, okay. Uh, what happened to the Darkspawn? I, I remember you, the girl from the wilds. Er, yes. Where am I? No, she remembers her. I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten. And we are in the wilds where I am bandaging your wounds. You are welcome, by the way. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's rescue? Um, wait, what happened to the army, to the king? Um, I am not an actress, guys, so please excuse me. <laughs> um, I remember being overwhelmed by the darkspawn. Um, she rescued me. You mean from the tower? Um, she'd be probably concerned about everyone, so, yeah. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. You mean Alistair? What happened to the Grey Wardens? And the King? Uh, neither am I. This is horrible. Um, I need to get out of here. What happened to the Grey Wardens of the King? All dead. Your friend has veered between denial and grief since Mother told him. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. Okay, um... Were my injuries severe? Yeah. Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. Um, I have some questions, if you don't mind. I do not mind. Take your time. Uh, are we safe here? Where are the Darkspawn? We are safe, for the moment. Mother's magic keeps the Darkspawn away. Once you leave, tis uncertain what will happen. The Horde has moved on, so you might avoid it. Um... How did she manage to rescue us, exactly? She turned into a giant bird and plucked the two of you from atop the tower, one in each talon. If you do not believe that tale, then I suggest you ask Mother yourself. She may even tell you. Um, why did your mother save us? I wonder at that myself. But she tells me nothing. Perhaps you were the only ones she could reach. I would have rescued your king. A king would be worth a much higher ransom than you. Okay, you're talking about ransoms, and I just almost died. Okay, um... I happen to be... No, I don't want to let her know that. I don't know who she is. I mean, really. Why would I tell her? She was just talking about ransoming off a king. So, um... Yeah, I don't... None of these are really good. Thanks a lot. I happen to be nobility, you know, much, much higher. Coin is important to you out here. Okay, that just sounds rude. I'll just go with thanks a lot. I guess that's the best choice. I am only being practical. Yeah. Um. I think I've asked enough questions. Are there any survivors besides us? Only stragglers that are long gone. You... Would not want to see what is happening in that valley now. Okay, so why? What's happening? You're right, I wouldn't. Why would Tyrion Loghain abandon the king? Yeah, why would he? I do not know who this Loghain even is. Perhaps ask Mother of it. Okay, I think I've asked enough questions. I agree. Tis time you speak with Mother, then be on your way. Okay, um, wow, that was rough to watch. It's always rough to watch. The fact that we've just lost um, Duncan and we've lost the king, all because Tyrion Loghain, well, I don't know if Tyrion Loghain's army would have helped any 
because that was a huge horde of Darkspawn. But um, just the idea that he would quit the field. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. So definitely hard to process even now. All right. Heading out to meet Alistair in Flemeth. See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. She's pretty, actually. You, you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. Um, I'm not, thanks to Morgan's mother. Afraid you were going to be left alone. I'm fine. I appreciate your concern. It takes more than a few dogs spawn to kill me. No, I would not say that. I would say, um, I'm not, thanks to... Morrigan's mother. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name. Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? Who cares what she is? We need to do something now. Why did you save us? If you're Flemeth, you must be very old and powerful. We can't be safe here. Where are all the darkspawn? I suppose we should thank you. Um, I suppose we should thank you. I feel like that... Might be, like, being sarcastic, but we're going to go with it. If you know what is good for you, I suppose you should. Okay, that was a little sarcastic. Um, is there some way we can repay you? Why did you save us? Well, we cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. True. It has always been the Grey Wardens' duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? Well, of course not. It changed when most of them were slaughtered. Yeah, I would say so. Mm -hmm. um, the Grey Wardens are no more. Let someone else do it. The land is hardly united. Thanks to Loghain. Exactly. The land is hardly united. I mean, Loghain quit the field. And because of that, the King and Duncan are dead. The leader of the Grey Wardens. I mean, what are we supposed to do? That doesn't make any sense. Why would he do it? Because he's a punk. That's a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. Then we need to find this Archdemon. What is this Archdemon exactly? She wouldn't know that. She's a fresh Grey Warden. They never really told her a whole lot about what was going on. So this archdemon, I guess they may have mentioned it in passing, but she really doesn't know what it is. So what is the archdemon? It is said that long ago, the Maker sent the old gods of the ancient Tevinter Imperium to slumber in prisons deep beneath the surface. An archdemon is an old god awakened and tainted by darkspawn. Believe that or not. History says it's a fearsome and immortal thing, and only fools ignore history. Uh, then if we need to find this archdemon, then we need to find him? Uh, Alistair's a real Grey Warden here, not me. Mm. Will you help us fight this Blight Flemeth? We should contact the rest of the Grey Wardens. Um, let's ask Flemeth if she would help. I mean, she helped us get escape the tower. She must have enough power to at least be helpful me i am just an old woman who lives in the wilds i know nothing of blights and dark spawn well whatever Loghain's insanity he obviously thinks the dark spawn are a minor threat we must warn everyone this isn't the case and who will believe you unless you think to convince this Loghain of his mistake he just betrayed his own king if Al Eamon knew what he did at Ostagar, he would be the first to call for his execution. 
Earl Eamon? The Earl, the Earl of Redcliffe? I suppose. Earl Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Caelan's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Surely there are other allies we could call on. That sounds like an excellent idea. Keep in mind that Logan was also an honorable man. Everyone will see the danger the bite poses, right? And he says he doesn't help. And say he doesn't help us. What then? Um, she'd probably be a little jaded from Logan. Maybe she would question also also question this Earl's um, honor. Even though she does know him, she's at least heard of him. Um, but let's go with um, and say he doesn't help us. But then you have more at your disposal than merely old friends. Of course, the treaties. Grey wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? Why not? Isn't that what Grey Wardens do? As long as there's some profit in it. Yeah, she wouldn't say that. Um, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I doubt it will be easy as that. Um, yeah, but... Why not? That's what Grey Wardens do. So you do. are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. I'd be happy with just staying alive. I don't suppose you could offer any more help. Yes, thank you for everything, Flemeth. Uh, we're going, we're going, old woman, don't push us. Oh, that's so rude. We're going, old woman, don't push us. Um, I don't suppose you could offer any more help. Now that you mention it, I do have one more thing to offer. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> I think that's an excellent idea. What makes you think we want her? Thank you, but if Morgan doesn't want to wish to join us, uh, I think that's an excellent idea. The more the merrier. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Very well, we'll take her with us. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, Perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I understand. And you, Wardens, do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. I understand. We don't need your we don't need her help. She won't come to harm with us. Um, I understand. I can't say that she won't come to harm, but I certainly understand. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. All right, I think we should just get underway. No, I prefer you speak your mind. Oh, excuse me, that was Jan. Sorry, guys. Um, I have no problems with your presence, if Alistair doesn't. And actually, I have some questions. Um. I'm going to ask her a few questions first. I may have answers. Ask. Are you really Flemeth's daughter? Well, of course she is. Have you ever been outside the wilds? I, she just said that. Um, tell me about this village to the north. 
It is a small place of little consequence called Lothering. No more than a stop along your imperial highway where travellers purchase goods from local farms and smiths. I would go more often were it not for the town's chantry. It makes the village particularly intolerant and unpleasant for a stranger such as me. Chantry? And they never in all this time thought that maybe you were a witch? Of course they have. They even called out their Templars once. They found nothing. Um... How are we going to get past the dark spawn? Yeah, that's a good question. The real question is how we are going to get your friend past the dark spawn, is it not? That's true. We can sense the dark spawn. Conversely, they can sense us. Um, I don't sense any dark spawn. That's not reassuring. That is not reassuring. We should be able to sneak past smaller groups, but larger ones, or particularly intelligent dark spawn will always detect us. Mother has given me something else for them to smell instead as we pass by. It is important we head out of the wilds, however, not farther in. That is dialogue that I've never actually uh, heard. Um, what skills do you have exactly? Yeah. I know a few spells, though I am nowhere near as powerful as Mother. I have also studied history and your Grey Warden treaties. Can you cook? I can cook. Yes. <laughs> Alistair is... I, can, I don't know what to do with him. Um, let's see. Then you, can, then you can substitute for Alistair. Never mind him. You don't have to cook. Yeah, never mind him. You don't have to cook. You missed your chance. Now it's charred rabbit from here on out. <laughs> um, I have no more questions. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Bah! Tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. All right. I think we're going to stop here for today. Um, I think I've re been recording long enough. And I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, series. I really I love Dragon Age. And I would definitely like to hear what you think so far in the comments below. If you've played this game before, uh, maybe what's your who's your favorite character. Um, share those uh, thoughts with me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Um, uh, if you're not a member of our family, don't be shy. Go ahead and, and hit the subscribe button. Uh, we'd love to have you with us and also hit that notification bell. So you'll know every time I upload a video, I thank you for joining me today, guys. And until next time, ciao.